Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. Today I'm gonna to be trying out a lot of new items that Essence recently released. Essence is a line that is carried at Ulta Beauty. I've also seen them start trickling into some drugstores recently, but this is an inexpensive makeup line and there are already a few products that I use from there. Uh, one of my favorite mascaras is by the brand Essence. So today I thought that I would try out a lot of the new products that they have recently launched. So if you'd like to see how I created this look using a lot of makeup that is under $10, go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, I have got a few palettes here to try out. I've got a new highlighter palette, a new bronzing palette. I've got some new blushes. I also have a new mascara to try as well as some new concealers that recently launched. This concealer is not new to the line, but they did recently do a shade extension. So I finally was able to find shades that I was able to use. So I definitely wanted to try those out. And I've got some of these melted chrome shadows right here that I also want to try out for you. In addition to that, I do have these powders that I've already had in my collection. And I thought today would be a great day to showcase these products since I am reviewing a lot of Essence products today. I did want to mention that this is my second time recording this video. I did attempt to do this one yesterday, but my lighting was totally off and I forgot to film an intro and the background was off, everything was just off, and so I decided to just scrap that video and start fresh today. So I'm filming again today. So it's not a true first impression, but I think that's good in the sense because I've, I'm using the products for the second day in a row, so, so you get a better feel about how I feel about these products. So let's go ahead and cut to the demo so you can see me trying these new products. All right guys, so I've already gone ahead and done my foundation. I've done my brows partially. I haven't set them yet just in case I get powder or something on them. That way I can retouch if I need to and then I can finally set. I also set my lids or primed my lids and set them. That way I could kind of prep my face for everything that I'm gonna be trying out today. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this concealer because I do wanna finish off that portion of my face and go ahead and powder a little bit. That way I can go ahead and do my eyeshadow. So because this is the second day that I'm doing this video, I did already try these two yesterday and it seemed like it seemed like this one was more like my skin tone. It really did not have a brightening effect at all, whereas this one did. But I don't want to go in too light. So I think I'm still going to mix it a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade first, which is Dark Caramel. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in before I go in with another small layer on top of that of the lighter shade. And I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. Total Face. I already started off with it for my foundation, so I'm just gonna continue using it. Okay, it was really creamy going on, and I feel like it is spreading out pretty easily. So that kind of blends right in with my foundation. I don't see too much of a brightening effect. I will say I feel like it does have some really good coverage. Now I am gonna go in with Golden Toffee and just go in right on top of that. I feel like if anything else, that's a nice base for this one. I feel like it almost color corrects a little bit. And then you can see how much more brighter this one is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just highlight the center of my face. I did notice a soft, fragrant smell to this, but nothing overpowering. I will say that when I first put this on the skin, I do feel kind of a tingling sensation. I'm not sure what that is, but I will say that after I blended it out, I didn't feel that anymore. I 
I really like that highlighting effect right there down the bridge of my nose. This concealer does say that it is strong enough to cover up tattoos. On the label, it does say that it is waterproof and tattoo covering. So that in itself tells you it's a pretty full coverage concealer. That is really nice. Yeah, I think I almost prefer the layering. I think it gives a more camouflaged appearance underneath the eyes and really gets rid of the dark circles. I noticed that Jackie Ina does that on her channel. She will start off with a darker concealer and then she will go on top with a lighter concealer and I feel like that combats the darkness a lot better. Similar to what a color corrector would do. I feel like I need just a little bit right there. Really nice. I really like this concealer a lot. Okay, now to set, I'm going to be using um, one of these powders from Essence. These are not new to the line, but I figured this would be the perfect video to feature these. These are really good brighten up powders. They have a banana powder that is pretty universal, and then they have this peach powder that is supposed to be more suitable for medium to darker skin tones. And so I think I'm going to go in with the Peach Me Up. This is a mattifying compact powder in a soft peach tone, and it is a multi-purpose powder. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any creasing underneath here. And then I'm just going to dip right into the powder. And go ahead and set that area. I feel like that did a really good job. So I'm just gonna continue with that and take it down, down all the center, center areas of my face where I've done any highlighting. Okay, now before I go in with my eyeshadow, I am contemplating, I think I am going to add a little bit of loose powder just in case there's any fallout. Hoping that does not dry out that under under eye area, so I'm gonna hurry up and do my eyes. So I really wanted to feature these Essence Melted Chrome Shadows. These are not new. I picked these up a little while ago, um, but these were featured as new on Ulta's website. So I don't know if they have new colors or why it's featured as new. So I have it in this silver shade right here. I have it in this coppery red shade right here and this beautiful blue, and then this sparkly pink. So I wanna integrate this sparkly pink into my look today. Um, these swatch so beautifully. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. And this is a 399 shadow. So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna start off most of the base here with this bite-sized eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. This is the rose water one. So I'm going to start off my look with this pink right here in the crease. Just going in with my 224 from MAC. And then I'm going to go in to this deep purple shade right here. This one is known to fall out, so this is the reason why I have the bake. I want to just create a soft effect here on the outside of the eye. Okay, so nothing too crazy. I wanted to keep it pretty simple with this chrome shadow being the star of the show. So I'm going to go ahead and mm, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of glitter glue onto my lid because I don't want glitter all over my face. I brought you in so that you could see how this shadow looked. I'm going to go right in with this shadow right here. This one is called Zinc About You. And I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm just pressing that onto the lid. And I'm just um, kind of doing a gradient into that darker shade. So I'm just gonna blend those two together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this off. Okay, so I went ahead and set the rest of my face. 
I removed the bake and touched up my brows, set them. I went ahead and lined my water line with uh, Stila Purple Tang. It's a really pretty uh, purple glittery liner. And I think we're ready for the next item. So next we are gonna go ahead and bronze up the face a little bit. So I have this new quad called the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. This is in the shade Better Than Vacation Tan. Love the name. So here are the here is the quad. Now the shade that I went in with yesterday was this one and it was perfect. I think I'm gonna start with this one today just so we can see how this one does. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC 130 and let's bronze up the face. The formula is a little bit powdery, but nothing too bad. That's pretty. It's a little softer than the one I used yesterday. I'm gonna go in with the darker shade to chisel out the jawline. Okay, so my camera cut off on me. Um, what I did do from the point that you saw me last bronze up the cheeks and my jawline, I did go ahead and bronze up the forehead a little bit. I went in with the lighter shade first and then finished a little bit with the darker shade. Now I'm just going to take what's left on my brush and contour the nose a little bit. Okay, this palette is so good. Um, I was amazed yesterday when I first started blending this into my skin at how quickly that it blended in. There's no patchiness, there's no harsh line. I mean, it just blends right where you put it. So this is such a nice formula. I can't believe that you get this quad for $9.99. Such an amazing price for such a great formula. And I can use it. <laughs> this, this is my issue. I have not found any quad anywhere that includes these darker skin tones to where someone my skin tone can use a bronzer like this. So I am amazed and just can't say enough about how I feel about this palette. Okay, moving on, let's go ahead and highlight the skin a little bit. I have this new one from Essence as well. This is Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. This is the darker shade palette. Here are the shades in this one. The lighter one is called Highlighter Palette. This one is Sunlighter. So these are the darker shades. You've got a real peachy one, a more of a rose gold, and then two forms of champagne there on this side. I'm trying to decide which one to go in with. Yesterday I used this one. I think I wanna try a different one today. I think I wanna try this champagne one right here. So I'm just gonna go in with my A23 from Anastasia. That is stunning. Take that onto the forehead, of course, because we've got a glow. And then I'm just gonna pick up some on my finger and take it right down the center of my nose, blend it in. This is kind of an unexpected highlight. At first glance, you see kind of a shimmer, but then when you look at a different angle, it's like a skin type of highlight. So pretty. I'm gonna swatch some of these for you just so you can see. Here is the other gold. And then the more peachy one. And then this is the more rose gold one. Aren't those beautiful? $9.99. I am right by the street here, and so I feel like you can hear all of the car revving sounds. So annoying. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with one of these new blushes. Yesterday I actually used them both, and I'll do the same today just so you can see. These are both new blushes. This one is called Bespoke, and this one is Beloved. Bespoke, I think, is a beautiful neutral shade 
that I felt like did show up a little bit on me. It's kind of a shimmery color. And I think it's nice if you don't want to wear a blush and you just want to blend your highlight and your bronzer together, I think that that is a pretty shade for that. I can't see much of a, a color. It is a shimmery blush from what I'm looking at, but it does a really nice job of just blending those two together. And now I'm gonna pick up this other one, Beloved, and just go right on top so you can see. There is a flush of pink there. Really pretty and really soft for this look. And I am using my e.l.f. blush brush for this. Okay, and then I like to just take my sponge and just make sure everything is one with the skin. Okay, next we are ready for this new mascara. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that Essence has always had amazing mascaras that I love. This one in specific has been my favorite mascara out of every mascara out there. This is called the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Curl and Hold Mascara. This mascara is amazing. Here is the wand. It's fat on one side, skinny on the other, and it is just, it does amazing things for my lashes. But today I'm gonna to be trying this new one from Essence. This is called What the Fake. And this is supposed to be a volumizing and lengthening mascara and it has volumizing fibers in it. Just curling the lashes really quickly. Another great thing about these uh, palettes right here from Essence are they have a nice size mirror in it. I am going to use one of these mirrors because I don't want to block the camera with my other one. So I'm just going to, I like to start from behind the lash and curl upwards or curl outwards. And then I like to start at the base and just wiggle upwards. And then it's almost like I'm brushing the mascara on. I thought that this was a really nice mascara yesterday when I wore it. Um, I saw a little bit of flaking in the very beginning but I didn't see anything after that. So good. All right guys, here is the completed look. You didn't see me applying the mascara to the bottom lash line because my camera cut out again. I don't know what the deal is with my camera, but it keeps overheating to the point where I have to let it cool down before I can start recording again. So anyway, I did go ahead and apply the same mascara to my bottom lash line. I usually use the Matte Gigaplay Lash Mascara for the bottom lash line, but today I did go ahead and try this one, and I think it did a really good job of separating those bottom lashes and elongating them. So as I said earlier, this is my second time filming this, so I wanna just go ahead and go through all of these items and tell you what my true first impression is from wearing them yesterday and today. Starting off with this concealer, it is an amazing concealer. This concealer is $3.99, $3.99, and it's such an amazing concealer. Great coverage, and I was able to test this all day yesterday. I wore it, uh, I, I wore it for pretty much six or seven hours yesterday. And by the end of the night, by the time I went to take it off, it still looked amazing. So I love this concealer. What a great find. I've always seen this in the Essence line, but they've never had shades that were dark enough for me to use. So I'm so glad that they did do an extension of the shade range and I was able to try it out. It's so, so good. Now the powders that I used to set it, I did use the Peach Perfect powder to set it. I do feel like it's a bit drying under my eyes. I don't feel like it looked as dry yesterday as it does now. And yesterday I did use my Pretty Vulgar Powder to set the concealer and I think this was much better. I think this would be a good powder to go back in after you finish your makeup. If you want to touch up anywhere, I think it's great for that. It brightening up something that's still maybe dark afterwards, but use it very sparingly because it is drying as I saw today. The Melted Chrome eyeshadows, you saw how pigmented that shadow was when I swatched it. 
And I do just want to take a minute and just swatch the other ones for you here. This is the blue one. That was a little patchy. I think I have lotion on my hands. There is the true swatch and it's still a little patchy there. But look at that. That is amazing for $3.99. I mean, that is like a high end metallic shadow. That is so nice. And then this one is Copper Me. The blue one was called Platinum Nights. And then this one is called Copper Me. Look at that. And then the last one is a silver one. It's called Steal the Look. Look at that. That is so amazing. So beautiful. Now I have used these shadows in the past and I will say that you do need to use a glitter glue. If you don't, it will be all over your face. Now today I did use a glitter glue and no fallout. It stayed where I put it. So, I mean, that is so beautiful. I love that pop of pink glitter right there. And the pink is not too overpowering. It is just beautiful. I love it. I think that's the first time that I'm wearing the pink. These shadows are $4.99 a piece. So good. I think I said $3.99 earlier. These are $4.99 a piece. Still a great deal. Okay, now let's talk about the bronzing powder. Oh my gosh, this is so, so good. I actually compare it very closely to my Jouer bronzer that I just recently tried out. I mean, I might even say that this was a little bit easier at blending than the Jouer was. The Jouer is nice. It's very richly pigmented, but the ease of this one was amazing. This whole palette was $9.99. Blows my mind. This is so, so good. This is so worth trying out. If you're looking for some bronzers for the upcoming spring and summer months and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, $9.99. Such a great deal for what this is. It's so pigmented, so easy to blend. And look at the shade options. Everyone can use this palette. So nice. Moving on to the Sunlighter palette. I did mention that there is a highlighter palette which, light, which lighter skin tones can use. But this one is, uh, I think, for more of the medium to dark skin tone category. Highlighters, amazing. So good. It's not powdery. It's not, um, it's not patchy. I mean, it's smoothed on so nicely. And it is just beautiful on the skin. Another amazing buy right here. $9.99 for these four highlights. Such a good deal. The blushes were also equally amazing. Even this one right here, even though this one doesn't show up on my skin, like I said earlier, it did such a good job of blending the highlighter and the bronzer together and just created such a beautiful look if you don't wanna wear blush. This one, amazing. It gave me that soft, little bit of a pink, rosy look on my cheeks, so beautiful. These blushes are $2.99 a piece. Cannot beat that. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is the mascara, the What The Fake Mascara by Essence. So good. Now, in comparison to my favorite one, I think this one is a tad bit more volumizing than this one is, but this one is still so good. Equally good. This one is just a tad bit more volumizing because I think it has more of the fibers in this one to thicken the lashes but these are both so good. This mascara is $4.99. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me demoing some of these more inexpensive products by the Essence line. Such amazing products and it does not break the bank. You don't have to spend a fortune on makeup. It's so nice to know that there are comparable items out there that you don't have to spend the money on. So such a great line and I loved all of the items that I reviewed here. Each one has its own purpose and I can find a way to incorporate it into my everyday routine. This concealer I'm definitely gonna use every day. The bronzing palette, the highlighting palette, and the mascara are definitely gonna be everyday items for me. These powders can definitely be incorporated every day for touch-ups 
And then when I want to go for more of a glam look on the shadows, I know that these are available. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried any of these products out. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave those for me down in the comments below. And let me know what you think of this look and all the items that I've tried. If you want to know details of all of the products that I use for this look, everything will be listed in the description box as always. And if you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed. And I will see you in the very next one. Bye.